Next round, This Is My, which, like Paris Hilton's jail time, is barely a sentence. Welcome this week's special guest person, Richard. Uh, so, Shane, uh, uh, what's Richard to you? Uh, Richard's my... <laughs> he's my uh, cousin and he lives down in Cornwall. And this is the first time he's been out of Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we are. Uh, Vic, perhaps you'd like to tell us how you know Richard? Um, Richard's my butcher and I'm his official sausage taster. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And finally, David, your relationship with uh, this Richard. This is Richard and he's illustrating my forthcoming children's book, The Lonely Lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so there you are. A uh, Cornish cousin, if we believe Shane, a butcher to the stars, according to Vic, or a children's illustrator of David's oh, book. OK, what part of Cornwall are you from? No, you ask him. Uh, can't yeah. ask him, he can't talk. Oh, OK. I mean, in the rules of the game, not okay. because he's from Cornwall. <laughs> okay. Yeah, ask it to Shane. Shane, what part of Cornwall is your friend from? Uh, cousin? It's my cousin, down near uh, Penzance, Lansdowne. There's a little place called Larkin Grove. What? Uh, and he's your cousin? Yeah. Called ha, Richard. Yeah. He's called Richard Ritchie. No, my real name's not Richie. What's, What's your, your real, real name? name? I'm not telling you. It's all in the book, still available, Rags to Richie. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably from, from the title, yeah, it must be Rags. It's Rags, yeah. it's rags yeah. to Richie. It's a story. Oh, yeah. It's a fantastic yeah. story of changing your name by deed pop. <laughs> His real name is, 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 is Megan. It's Richard Megan. That's rubbish. Right. Okay. If he's your cousin from Penzance, what does he do in Cornwall? He likes it. Well, I don't know if he's still doing. He used to have a garage down there, and he used to look after cars. But I don't know if he does it anymore because I've been down there for a while. This, uh, this book, David. Could you just tell us a little bit about the Lonely Lighter? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, I Nervous could. Laugh. Is it autobiographical? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell! That's a, yes, that's a low blow. Yes, it's about. <laughs> it's about a, a desolate building standing alone is finally demolished. <laughs> No, very bright. Sorry? It's a positive. You're very bright, but very lonely. So yes, it's quite bright. Yeah. Shining my light pointlessly into the dark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the only way I get any human company is if I turn the light off and people <laughs> crash onto the rocks below me. Uh, and, no, and other chat-up lines from it's, David. It's, it's, not, it's, uh, it's not that. No, it's, it's great... about... There's a character uh, in the sketch show I do called uh, Sir Digby Chicken Caesar. Uh, we've been commissioned to write a series of sort of, well, a kind of illustrated storybooks. What was he doing in the, the first lighthouse? One is going to be called The Lonely Lighthouse. And he's the illustrator to your book. How many chapters are there in your book? Well, I haven't written it yet. <laughs> right, what, how does it end? Well, as I say, I haven't written it yet. <laughs> how does it begin? He hasn't written it yet. Well, if you haven't written it, he clearly hasn't illustrated it. So no, yeah. exactly. No, You're out. Guys, the drawings come first and then he'll make up the story. No, he's, going to, <laughs> he's going to be illust... All these things get arranged no, in advance. No, no, I want to move back to the sausages. <laughs> <laughs> the butcher one. Okay. Yes, Vic, could oh, you tell us more about the sausages? Yes, this is Richard and I'm his official sausage tester. He makes the sausages and I test Matt. He, he, you know, in the depths of dar the darkness of the night, he hangs a bag of sausages on okay, my... Yeah. Doorknob and I. <laughs> is this, is this extracts from the Lonely Lighthouse? <laughs> <laughs> Where's his butchers? In my village where I live. Which where is, is what? That? We want to know. Charing in Kent. Okay. And, and he's the local. So it, it, anyway, I, I test the sausages. Uh, th it's a very official, um, you know, position to hold. It was before held by the woman on the hill, <laughs> who died of melancholy. <laughs> What's your favourite? He does a good beef and horseradish. But we're going we're gonna to make zebra sausages and uh, alligator snake sausages. The, bl the, the zebra ones will be black and white. One sausage black, one sausage white. Oh, it's like a Paul McCartney song. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so is this person uh, Shane's Cornish cousin, Vic's sausage provider, or <laughs> David's literary illustrator? Well, I, I, I think Vic... Is uh, talking out of his backside. Really? No, I don't. I, well, okay. well, I think the clue. I mean, it might just be me. Call me old-fashioned. Zebra sausage. I mean, <laughs> no, I, I got I, suspicious. I, I don't know what I, it was. I do. I would go with the Cornwall one personally. Okay. So okay. you're veering towards. I'm veering towards David because he did a e e e. What the lighthouse? Yes, because he I. He hasn't even written the book. <laughs> well, I believe David would read a book, write a book about lonely lighthouses. <laughs> What do you think I think it's definitely Shane Ritchie's cousin. I do too. Yeah. Okay, Lee, well, you're going to uh, have to well, either I mean, overrule I think it's or David, go with. But they've overruled me, so I'll say uh, 
It's Shane's cousin. OK, you're saying it's Shane's cousin. Richard, perhaps you'd like to tell us who you really are? I am Vic's butcher. Oh. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, he is. He's Vic's butcher. Richard, sorry, sorry. Do you do zebra sausages? We've spoken about it for the last year, haven't we, Richard? We have. You have to bear in mind that Vic does lead a very, very strange life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us, Richard. Well done. Yes, Vic and uh, Richard together make the best sausages in Kent. Uh, one of Vic's duties is to trim off the nasty gristle, veins and cartilage and ensure that they all go into the sausages. <laughs> uh, how many people get on well with their sausage tasters? Elton John married his. So... <laughs> 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 <laughs>